we're hello and we're back today we are on chapter 21 of the hypertrophy odyssey it is friday aka lower body 2 aka something i gotta figure out a name for it i figured out a name for the other two so i gotta figure out a name for this one i think what am i inspired by today oh i did say berserk yesterday but i think i'm gonna do berserk for monday i think i'm gonna do something i'm in the mood for something wrestling related something something like power slam or like leg drop or like a move name or a karana or some shit like that to think about it poison rana some wrestling move that sounds sick you know like uh what is it like brain buster brain buster sounds awesome but that sounds that's more of an upper body day maybe brain buster might be the monday i don't know to think about it maybe i'll switch it out with something berserk related here you know today is like the zod workout you know zod lower body day so i could have like the massive legs of zod something figure it out uh that'll be for later probably on the way back today i'm feeling good i uh, my upper body is pretty sore particularly my triceps are pretty much cooked right now so my elbows kind of feel it but with only having to do pull-ups today that eh, should be fine my legs are still kind of sore from tuesday's workout which is kind of insane i usually am not this sore this for this long so who knows you have to wait and see also could be because of the cut which is going well by the way currently slowly steadily getting down also whittling down my calories each day because you know going from eating probably like four to five thousand calories try and trying day for like a month and then slowly bringing it down to 1780 i think is my calorie count is a little bit of a challenge i'm taking a step every day to getting it smaller and smaller to fit it into that window it's just a little tough it's not that many calories with that being said i'm getting better at getting the calories into that number range so i'm only going over by like 100 or something like that so small potatoes not too much speaking about potatoes i'm gonna make some later today i'm looking forward to today if i do it right this could be a very 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 quick session the only thing that might take forever it might be hyper extensions but if i do it right i could giant set three things and then that will make things so much quicker which would be useful because i need to go home and edit yesterday's video i'm starting to reach a point now where the editing is starting to get become an issue not because i don't have time for it or like something like that but because of how i'm now editing out all the ums and stuff it's more time consuming and because it's more time consuming i have to go and do it i have to just find the right time and i keep getting up against the wall in time wise these people are crossing at the wrong time bruh with that being said trying to make this work out quick so i can go home and edit because that's the main thing and also film some new videos i know i have one more idea for a stand up in front of the whiteboard one and then i have a bunch of shorts that i have to record there are those i'm looking forward to doing all that but i just have to quickly go to the gym do my gym stuff make sure it's good and then come back home and work anyways i'll see you on the inside so here today we start off with hack squats. Did four sets of these, very tiring. I'm not gonna lie, I usually have something to talk about during these videos, but today's video, not really. When I was at the gym, I did, was just trying to get through the workout. I wasn't really thinking about much outside of the gym, except for like maybe Fish Tank. Fish Tank, by the way, fishtank.live, shout out, is a reality TV show that's happening for the next six weeks where they're getting 10 contestants and making them do a bunch of stuff. And it's great, I love watching it because it's 24 hour entertainment and people getting messed around with. And overall, a nice little website where the rules don't matter. But anyway, that's all I've been really doing and thinking about. So I haven't been able to really think about anything to talk about during this, which is funny because in the future, because it's future me, I will say tomorrow's episode or well, from when this releases, the later episode, which will be tomorrow, you'll find out, is actually very exciting for me. I'm very excited excited to talk about a lot of stuff there, but I don't want to spoil it here, so I'm going to save that for... And then as well, I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, the title that I'm going to give this this week, but I'm going to wait for next week to talk about it because then I can go down a little rabbit hole using that. So I'm kind of stuck, kind of stuck right now in between a rock and a hard place to figure out what the hell I'm going to talk about right here. If anything, I'll just probably talk about the state of the channel and trying to edit a little bit more of these videos. If you like the edited style where I get rid of the ums and ands and a little bit less of the pauses in between, like the breaths and stuff, please let me know because I will try to do that more often. If you don't like it or you don't even care, just also let me know because that would save me time and saving time is great. So there's that. And right here, I'm doing hyper extensions. I decided to do this as a giant set 
hyperextensions, then calf raises, then the wrist roller. Jeez, can't even speak. But anyways, because I decided to do it as a giant set, it made this day go by very quick. I will probably continue to do it like this. I think I'm gonna do seated calf raises on this day rather than the other day, the other lower body day. Uh, I'm going to do it on this day so that way I can just do all three at once and it makes sense. Just boom, boom, boom. This was a pretty tough giant set. I wasn't out of breath. It was just more of a, just getting everything done. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three type deal. I did enjoy it though. I will probably, like I said, I will do this again. So yeah, like, uh, like I said before, I don't really have a subject for this one. This one will probably be untitled, like an untitled chapter, maybe like a behind the scenes stuff. I'll, maybe I'll talk a little bit more about that. Mostly right now I am in the process of trying to write. I think filming and writing, just finding time when no one's really around has been more of an issue than anything at this point because I just don't want, you know, background noise of people talking or of cooking or things like that, which has been more of an issue than anything, just really. So that way I have silence to record and stuff. Usually something will pop up in the middle of recording, like my phone vibrating or the dogs rubbing their head on the floor, which makes a bunch of noise, you know, something like that. And it kind of sucks, but I'd rather have those slight interruptions than the interruptions of hearing a bunch of Spanish talk in the background. I, I, you Know, that and that's also slightly revealing to the person's lives. I don't want to do that. So I think that's the only real issue that I've been having with making videos so far is just that and then getting finding the time where no one's around and start recording. I could do there's like a two hour gap where I get to do these where nobody's home, but then it starts then the gap it's like sometimes it's there later in the day, sometimes it's not, but then it's like getting back into the groove of doing another recording is also something that I don't know if I really want to do type deal. So so I need to figure that out as well. I need to know if is it worth cutting out all of like the small parts, like the ums and the ands and stuff. I mean, I understand cutting out some of the mistakes, you know, like things where I'm like, uh, 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 uh like multiple times in a row and or saying the same things over and over again. Like, yeah, that I understand. I, I will probably continue to do that. But are the ums and the ands a little bit too much? Is it a little too extra? Does it make me seem smarter than I actually am? Because that's also something that I realized that, oh, this makes me sound like I'm more competent is getting rid of all the ums and ands. <laughs> the issue with editing them out is basically that now I have to sit there and edit all of these things and also listen to myself when I talk, which is way more time consuming than just letting them go. And I think that is the biggest issue as well as having to re-record some stuff like this little section right here. I have to record some more because I got rid of enough ums and ands and stuff that I have to fill the time that was originally taken up here with new content. <laughs> so that takes time. <laughs> So anyway, seated leg curls here. They're great, really do enjoy them. Have been working excellently for my knee pain. I think I don't really have much knee pain anymore. I have a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's definitely lessened since I started doing these. So it has been a worthy a worthy addition to the exercise routine. We'll keep them around, really do enjoy them. Back to what I was saying before, the reason why I like to make sure that there's a voiceover for most of these parts is because I feel like most of these videos that I watch that have the people People just sitting there doing the exercise with nothing going on in the background and well besides music is kind of like a lack of dead air there was something that was instilled in me while I was a streamer and now it carries over to this let me know what you think if it's a problem or if I should just let clips breathe it all just depends let me know in the comments below so basically I am going to do a shorts soon. I just have to find the time to film them, but I have the idea down and I have the products ready to review. I have quite a few protein bars ready to go. I just want to make them highly edited so then that way they're more palatable to a broader audience instead of, you know, just me sitting in front of a camera and just being like, here is today's protein bar, you know? I want it to be a little bit more stylistic. I think of those cooking channels where they have like, the crazy stuff going on around their food where they have the top down view, something along those lines and a lot of editing uh, based off of that. I want to try to do that. I just have to figure out the timing and what it's going to look like.
There's probably gonna be a trial run of these videos where you're gonna see what they look like. It's gonna be very interesting. Also, leg raises were great. Didn't hurt my shoulder. So definitely the rear delt work that I did the day before has been helping. And as since then, I will say this, it has been very little, I've felt it a little bit every once in a while, but it has been overall pretty good. Really, really did enjoy that. Really has been working. I have to say it has been very beneficial for my back health. So that's good. And I've been able to do more with that. Also, before this, I was playing around with the cable on the left there. I was trying to do some lateral raises to test out one of the new attachments that you will see on the next video. handheld mode and we're back today was a pretty decent day i gotta say i gotta go handheld on the camera because the tripod decided to die on me i still have to figure out a better method in the car i think like i said i know what i have to get but i really don't want to buy it so so today was a good day welcome to the workout debriefing today was very nice i liked the giant set that i did i couldn't superset pull-ups and ab work just general ab work i couldn't superset it very annoyingly but i was messing around a little bit and i was taking my time a lot so i could have probably gotten out of there a little bit quicker actually thinking about it i didn't think of any uh, names while i was i was working out i was just like let me get this done too into the the workout to think of anything else i'm gonna have to think about it on monday maybe something berserk related what did i think of in the morning i don't even know i'll have to look at the video footage afterwards and then be like uh, that's what i was thinking about but we'll see on monday overall pretty good actually the gym itself was actually kind of packed which was kind of weird and annoying a little bit because it was a lot more people than i thought it would be it wasn't that annoying like i wasn't like oh people are crowding around with the machine i was using but it was definitely a lot more people than i would i remember going like last friday and stuff a lot of new faces a lot lot of you old people that's what i saw many many elder people which is perfect i'm actually glad to see older people at the gym i always feel like you know the older you get the more active you should be especially those older people you know i'm trying to trying to get my mom uh, to be more active so if it makes sense uh, just generally to see them there the cardio area also fuller with people generally i think people are starting to go i guess which is also kind of funny because today is like the coldest day of the year so far and tomorrow we're supposed to get the first snowfall of the year actually no i think we had snowfall earlier but like it was kind of like it was light snow like only on grass and stuff i think tomorrow's the actual first snow that we actually are getting real road snow and everything so not looking forward to that but also possible it is something comfy about being at home and being like eh, i'm not going anywhere because can't really go anywhere you know supposedly not even gonna be that much who cares overall i've so far from the split that i've done three out of the four days i feel great my shoulder hurts a little bit but that's more me struggling with a backpack less actually hurting it like normally so i'm not blaming any workout on that i'm literally blaming the backpack because the backpack to put on this while wearing this jacket sucked but besides that uh i've been it's been pretty good i've been feeling my legs have been feeling great my upper body felt great today even though it's been a little sore especially my triceps it's kind of nice it, i give it a break but i'm still working out so so the time wise i'm out again at 11 30 so amazing like i said i could do it sooner uh, i also had a lot more sets today than i thought i would that would increase the time uh, per exercise obviously so you know an extra set here an extra set there was going to make things a little bit a little bit longer it's all good though because now I, I can knock this thing out and uh, yeah like about an hour and a half maybe even an hour depending on what i have to do during the day it's just great knowing that i can do this quickly so i'm looking forward to seeing how this goes check out the instagram because i'm going to probably be putting every friday a weekly progress pick. I think I'm going to do that from now on. Probably until I get to 180 and then I just start maintaining and stuff. So, because I want to, I just want to make sure that I'm progressing. Uh, it's kind of like a keeping myself accountable publicly, like these videos. But anyway, I will be back Monday. Uh, I will see you then. Thank you very much. Take care. God bless. Good luck. Peace.